Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm showing a shattered Laloon attack. You can tell this base is kind of a low base for me to hit, but it gives a good example on how to cut the defense. If you take a look on the clan castle, you see it sits on outside most of the walls, except over here. So I'm not going to want to put my golems up over there. I originally thought of taking out this air defense, bringing the queen over from over here. But where you'd have to put the golems, right here and here, I would draw out the CC. So I want to show you how I'm using a rage and a haste spell lately to take care of the CC and the archer queen. So let's take a look at my troop setup real quick. Um... I'm bringing up two golems, uh, two hounds. It's my kind of normal sea or air raid. So two hounds, a max hound, and the CC. Fifteen loons, two wall breakers. I got my cleanup troop of a goblin, five wizards. So what I'm gonna do? If you see where the queen is at, like I said, it's pretty low uh, base for me to hit, but queen is there. Um, you got your blowers facing out this way and this way. If we go back, I'm trying to work around air blowers. So, these two air defenses reach each other and these two air defenses reach each other. This blower goes out here. This blower goes out here. So, the only blow or air defense untouched is this one right so this is the only air blow or air defense reached out if i take out this air defense and the queen i can start a counterclockwise loon raid without blowers reaching me and this is very important so what i'm going to do with the cc radius being where it's at is set one golem out here and one golem out here that way i can create a funnel put my wizard over here and a wizard over here and create my funnel and get into this cell. So I'm going to send my wall breakers over here, put a jump spell right here, and I'm if you look at my spell usage, I bring three rages and a haste spell. I started using this once I got the uh, haste spell and everyone's now due to the poison spell is using a uh, drag loon valkyrie combo uh, this cc as you can see it holds 30 i believe he uses a drag a valk and maybe some archers so due to the high dps on the cc i set a rage for my troops and that will take out the queen and i hope it takes out the air d and it's going to take out that cc so once you look at it i'm cutting my funnel here and i'm cutting my funnel here bringing my troops in i'm going to set a rage i'm going to do away with this whole section all right so i'm going to bring one loon once i bring uh, my two golems in this archer tower I know is going to focus on them and I'm going to bring one loon over and take out that arch tower. I'm going to sacrifice that loon and you'll see I run this air strike so well. That is the only loon I use in the entire air raid. So after that I still have three air defenses left. I bring three hounds, one max. Due to the fact these I have a max air D and Kind of some low air Ds. So I'm going to set a hound over here and a hound over here to try to pick up any of the bombs. I'm going to put two, 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 two. And let them do their job. Then I'm going to rage and hopefully take out this air blower that's focusing this way. So once I take out that air blower... It's focusing like that. I have a clean shot to lay my next hound. Two, two, two. Remember, I already smoked this with one. So that's the rest of my loons. 
The only defense left is that single cannon, which doesn't shoot air, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to lay a rage here, a rage here, and, oh, sorry, a rage here, a haste here, and a rage here to get my loons into the game. So let's take a look at it, see what I mean. Um, it's a new use to the ha haste and a use of the rage to get my loons in the game. And it works out wonderfully. I lose one loon this entire attack. So I clear out those buildings, I get the wall blown up, and I get my troops inside. You can literally do this attack with any level heroes. So when I get my heroes in, you see, I started doing one thing different. I cut my funnel with just a very few wizards on the outside, and I save one wizard, since he has pretty high DPS, and when I'm raging my troops, I make sure to rage these troops to take down that, that uh, drag. So he literally, they do work on everything. Now one thing I'm not expecting is they do end up taking down that max uh, air defense. You can see I bring that loon now in from the top side. Take out that archer tower. And I bring in my max hound first. Always suggestible. Bring in my next hound. Throw in my rage to get my side loons up. And then already, to be quicker... You can see I'm throwing down my cleanup troops. I know these defenses are cleared out. So it's alright that I throw up my cleanup troops on the back side. You want to make this attack quick. Don't want to run out of time. Bringing in my next hound. I'm using that haste spell through the middle to get my loons up to meet each other. And I'm throwing that rage. One thing I do... These are low-level air defenses, low-level regular defenses, not what I'm used to attacking, so my third hound never ends up blowing up, but as you can see, I have 14 out of my 15 loons left, still have a third hound left, have all my cleanup troops, easy peasy, I got the entire base down in two minutes flat. So it's a great strategy to use, guys. You got to map out. You got to realize where your CC radius is, how to get to that queen, where to set your heroes. Um, as long as you check that, doesn't matter what level your defenses are. Doesn't matter what level your heroes are. You can do this as long as you protect your loons. I lost one loon this entire time. Everyone can build level 6 loons. Everyone can build level 2 hounds. That's all it took. The heroes were only meant to take the CC and the queen out. They did that job fantastically. I used a rage to take out the CC and I replaced it with a haste. So try it out. It's going to work for you. Appreciate the views. Go ahead and press like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.